Hello and welcome to this video. One, two, three. So this is going to be a vlog of I think buying stuff and possibly a haul. So this is the first of my uni video. This video is going to be me buying everything I kind of need. Probably some hauls here and there, some vloggy bits of us shopping. But I just thought it would be fun to film and I also would love to do a video like Eat Bennett just done where I react to this next year and see like what I did use, what I didn't use and stuff. But I think we kind of have a pretty good idea of what I need and don't need because both my brothers have gone for uni. I've just finished work. I've literally been up since 5 a.m. It's now 5 o'clock. Um, we're just gonna, we've got like two hours, just gonna go shop around like Primark and TK Maxx maybe. And then obviously we need to do a big Ikea shop. I'll show you my outfit before I get a load of questions. So this little top, I love this so much. This is Zara. These are River Island. And then as always, these shoes are Koi Fitwear. Shoes is something I wanna get before I go to uni because even though I have so many, literally all I wear is these white trainers from Koi Fitwear. I have a thing for white trainers. I don't actually really like wearing black trainers. They just make me feel like school shoes. I don't know why, I just don't really vibe it. So I really wanna get another pair of shoes or maybe two. I'll stop rambling, we're gonna go and shop. So, we're back now from shopping. We literally just went to TK Maxx and Primark. I didn't buy anything in Primark, really, because I was looking around and wanted to go to TK Maxx first because I thought they might have some cute stuff or whatever. But there's definitely some stuff in Primark I want. I got stuff in TK Maxx. I got a pink frying pan, like a pan, just like little bits. I'll do a big haul, like, at the end. You can see it in person, you can't see it. Yeah. We're here! Probably here for a few hours now. <laughs> Oh gosh, gosh it's sunny. Too, Today is the big shopping day. We're at IKEA. We're planning on getting like what? Well, anything that you need for your kitchen. The, yeah, kitchen. We, we yeah we were shopping kitchen TK Maxx yesterday, Bedroom. and there was like little things like are there bombs going down the wrong way? Are there cushions nice here? Oh plants! I'm here for plants. So I just seen that yeah, thing up there. I want plants. Definitely plants here are really good. Um. Oh, that, that's a like laundry basket on the thing. Oh, I love her kit. <laughs> Bits and bobs they're good for. Yeah, we thought we'd just come and get, because it's quite cheap as well. Just come and get bits. I do love an Ikea trip though. I love home stuff. So this is literally like my dream. Walk around and see it so all. So we'll be here forever, because so do I. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we won't leave with a lot more than we need. Right, anyway, we're here. Let's come in. We are in. I like this whole like minimal vibe. <laughs> I love this little one. No, but come, it's not a big one. It's just in a little pot. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's well nice. Is that fake? Yeah. Doesn't look obviously it's fake, but I mean it doesn't look like a fake one. Oh my gosh, I get like a little princess curtain. <laughs> okay, we've come to like the kitchen bit of all the fun stuff, you know, like tin openers, pizza. Oh my god, pizza cutter. I'm gonna need a pizza cutter, aren't I? Definitely all the pizza I'll be eating. They look a bit like, is that like a lemon juicer? Oh my god, no, apple slicer. See, like, this is all the stuff I'm going to need. Look, lemon juicer, wooden spoon, old wooden spoon podcast. Cheese, great R, colander, don't want a colander. We've walked around like, all the showroom bit and now we're going to get the bits we actually need. I'm not going to show you too, too much because I'm going to give you a haul, but obviously I'm going to show you us walking around. Um, yeah. Oh my god, like pulp, pulp and secker, pulp and secker shaker. Bottle opener, classic. Right, okay, let's go for my mum. Trolley is slowly filling up. <laughs> to be fair, it doesn't look like we've got a lot, but I feel like we've picked up a lot of stuff. We've got one plant. <laughs> We're uh, having to walk backwards because we've just realised we haven't got actually any cooking. Because mum says you've got no kitchenware. We didn't get things for the oven. We've just got nice things. You can get real stuff. <laughs> I feel like you really can't do this in Ikea. Like, no one walks backwards in Ikea. <laughs> like, you, they, they, it's set out the way it is for a reason. <laughs> but yeah, we need things for the oven, you know, like baking trays and that. I only need, like, like two, don't I? Yeah, you didn't look. No, I know, but I feel like they didn't have them, otherwise we would have thought. <laughs> Keep electrocuting it. I feel like they didn't have them. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> 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 it's probably you that's static. Oh, yeah. oh, they did have them. We just walked straight past. Right. IKEA has so much stuff you don't know. That's what I just thought. Yeah, they're they not seem great. a bit like thin and a bit like wibbly wobbly. So, we really need to revisit that and get that so we did need to travel backwards. Are they scales? <gasps> scales. But you, well, you won't use that one once I'm gone, will you? I'll just take it with you then. You won't use it, will you? We've come to the good bit. <gasps> that is so pretty. I like that basket. I like this when there's like a few of them. It looks nice when there's more than one. Should I get two? And complete. Oh 
Oh my god, it's boiling. Finito. Oh, TK Maxx stuff is still in there. So we came in a Primark to look, didn't we, Mum? Just to look, and uh, actually ended up with two baskets and duvet. We thought we'd end up getting duvet and done in Mel, but apparently not. Oh my god, my room's gonna look well cute. Mum doesn't like my music. <laughs> Wow. So Someone we road and now we're back um like where like we're living broad stairs making. You can't tell people we live in oh, broad sorry. stairs. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm sorry. You, you just sounded come like, and come and stalk me everyone. You sounded like you forgot where you live, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go range down elm and places. We were talking about plates. Because I couldn't decide like what plates and stuff I wanted, but now I've just decided I'm going to take plates from home and leave mum with no plates because I like our plate. It's only going to be mum and dad in the house. She's saying it like she really needs them, but it's only going to be two of you. <laughs> You're not going to be cooking more than two dinners. It's not like I've only got four plates. <laughs> yeah, exactly, you've got hundreds, that's what I mean. The exciting uni things. Look at all my, all my spoons. <laughs> we literally haven't been able to find fairy lights anywhere. Primark has them, but they're all battery powered and then it... Look at the sausage. <laughs> I might just take my ones. So, it's come to the dreaded point now where we need to unpack the car. Oh, I also bought a little outfit in Zara. Um, but let me just show you. Let me just show you this car. Cool. <laughs> oh, God. So, we're not quite sure when or how this happened, but this is uh, everything we bought today. Oh, that is a lot of stuff. So we've got like four Primark bags, two Ikea bags, three TK Maxx and like random, like there's a bin full of cooking stuff. And like we've got our Ikea boxes, this clove rail that me and mum in debate if I'd ever even oh, use. Got rail oh, we didn't go Argos and get an actual clove rail. Trip for another day, but we basically got like, pretty, we got everything. I said I was going to haul this all and I might try, but um, I got, I got a lot of stuff. I am a sweaty, greasy, oily mess, but just before I give you a haul of everything we've bought, I just want to show you something else that I've been sent in kind of preparation for uni. I was thinking kind of, you know, sometimes you've got uni balls or like special nights out, like not like proms, but you know what I mean, like balls, dances, whatever they're called. So JJ's house reached out to me. They're like an occasion wear evening dress company. So basically they do like prom dresses. I'm pretty sure they did like wedding dresses. And these are technically like homecoming dresses. I got short dresses. Now this is sponsored, but doesn't mean I'm gonna tell you that I just love these dresses. They've just sponsored part of this video for me showing you these dresses. I've got three dresses to show you and I'll show you them now. I'm gonna try them all on and then we can get on with all this. So if you do wanna see everything I got for uni and the haul, Make sure you stay tuned. So this is the first dress here. The only thing I will say about all, that looks great with my socks on. The only thing I will say about all these dresses is that they are a bit long for me. Now some people will like that length. For me, I like it a little bit shorter. It's kind of my fault. I am only five foot four. So if you were definitely if you were taller than me, these would definitely be a bit like shorter on you. Like I would want it to be like maybe like here. So yeah, this is this black one I got. I'll leave all the links down below. But it's basically like this lace. It's meant to be like see through, and then it has like these little gems in it. I actually think. It's this is really really cute it's definitely out there for me only because this sounds crazy but i would never normally go black so i feel a bit weird in black and the back's like low as well can you see it's got like a low back i did think this would be like a slightly bit darker because i feel like it is quite light and it's obvious that it's not just like your skin which i thought it would be and i thought it'd make it like a bit more like sexy if it just looked like all your skin obviously as i said these all are all occasional my dresses like this is not dresses i'm saying i'm gonna wear out tonight like down broad stairs like downtown but for occasions i think they're really really cute this one isn't my favourite. My favourite is a pink one. I'll save to the end. And then I've got this red one as well. They're all kind of a similar vibe, like a fancy top and a normal skirt. So I've got the red one on. And this is probably my least favourite. But not their fault. This is completely my fault. I did not read the description. So this website, you can pick any dress you want and you can pick any colour you want. So I got one in red and one in black to go outside my comfort zone. And then one in a light pink because if you know me, I love it. Um... The show colour was grey, so I thought the sequins were the same colour as the dress because obviously it showed silver on grey. So me being me just assumed that I would get red sequins with a red dress. Not the case, if I just read the description I would have known that. So this makes it like a little bit too out there for me, but like I love this mesh here and this mesh here. Like 
it's all mesh and so cute and if it was red sequins or i just picked the gray one i know i'd probably love it but it's the fact that it's like this bright red and this silver it's not for me so like there's my knee it literally comes right above the knee so i definitely want it a bit shorter if i was gonna wear it but i do honestly think this is beautiful like this down here and like the whole detailing is actually really lovely and it's all cut and like sewn together so nice it's so beautiful like it comes down low it's a really really beautiful dress but it's definitely just not my style for prom i'm one of them people at prom that would rather be a bit like more muted as well as me being a bit short i did get them all in a 10 i'm kind of between sizes like an 8 or a 10 so i got them all in a 10 because they are really expensive dresses so i didn't want them to come and not fit like i would have rather them being a bit big which they are all kind of so i probably could have got away with an 8 which would have made them shorter as well so that's the red one let me quickly pop on this last one the pink one it's definitely the most muted and understated again still a bit long for me but let me try it on and show you and here we go i've got my favorite one on the pink one i'll show you in a minute I'm literally just so obsessed with this one. I think this one is so beautiful. Like, look at the top detail in this. So it's like this, like, flower print. Again, as I said, they're all quite similar. I love this, like, mesh down the side and stuff. I think it makes them look so great. The way this is fit, it almost feels like panels. So it, like, sucks you in. And I just think the top of this and the colour is gorgeous. Like, this is so me. As I said, like, the red dress and stuff, it is not JJ House's fault. I did not read the description. It was a beautiful dress. It's just not my style i would never do like silver and bright red i went with one that was very very in my comfort zone and two that weren't so obviously the one that's in i love the most like the back as well is a low back if you know me you know i love a low back let me show you the length of this one this one's actually a little bit shorter and you know it's me being short because like the waist comes perfectly like my waist is here i just have little tiny legs like, i think it's so cute and the back is gorgeous the skirt is gorgeous i love the way the lace comes like down the skirt and it doesn't just finish like can you see it, it comes like down the skirt so like ties it all in this one is by far my favorite i absolutely love this so beautiful but yeah these are the three dashes from jj house i just want to jump in here and show you them quickly and say thank you for gifting me these and sponsoring this part of the video i've also got 10 percent discount code for all of these i'll leave it on screen now i'm pretty sure it's 10 percent if you do go and grab any dresses make sure you let me know they are all gorgeous the quality is amazing go and get yourself some so this is like all laid out like perfectly like my mum just did this so that we know what we're doing like his kitchen and stuff like all kitchen utensils i'm probably just gonna set you up here and like quickly just go through everything like obviously some stuff is really boring so you're not gonna want to see it too much but i'm gonna show you like the cute bits and then just be like kitchen utensils and quickly list what i got so i'm sort of like what's right in front of me which is actually some of the fun stuff so we weren't going to get a duvet i was just going to take mine and my mum was going to buy another one for my room because i like mine and we were like well we're just like there's like no need but we ended up getting one because they come like this and that's so much easier to take we were going to go to Dunnell Mill because we couldn't find any that I liked in Ikea or anything. And when we were in Primark buying all of this, we actually saw this one and we got it out and we tried it and everything. It's like a Primark home luxury. Feels like down. 10.5 Tog duvet. I love thin like duvets. I know 10.5 is quite a lot, but one, I'm going to be all the way up north. I'm so excited making this video. Like, I can't believe in like... When this is up, I'm hoping it will go up tomorrow. No, it will go up like next week. In a week, I'll be in uni. Like what i'm so excited like buying all this stuff today literally me and my mum walking around like i can't believe like i need my own pots and pans and stuff like i can't believe it's my turn but yeah so i basically just got a primark duvet this was 30 pound i got one of the primark like little throws the four pound throws this was actually five pounds so clearly they've got it but yeah it was just one of the small throws i'm pretty sure this is as big as kind of a double bed but i just wanted it for my chair so it's like this pink and palmy leaf green blanket as i said literally to throw over my desk and my chair to give my room a bit more color because basically my whole room is gray and white like gray and white furniture gray floors white no not white carpet gray carpet so i just got some pink stuff to spice it all up because if you know me <laughs> pink's my color we got these from primark they're just four over the door hooks my mum doesn't think we'll be able to use them but all of my pals and like people on youtube say bring over the door hooks so we just got these because they were two pound to try if they don't fit over the door not really a stress a little pink basket from primark just to put like on my dressing table with, like dry shampoo hairspray deodorant blah 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 blah. i got my sheets and pillowcases from primark my mum's ordered me white bedding from MS. i literally just wanted plain white bedding because i just want it to feel like really clean and fresh and like be able to put whatever i want in my room elsewhere so i literally got two pink pillowcases and two pink sheets because i have four pillows on my bed so the front two are going to be white and the back two are going to be pink so it's like just a bit more color and then the sheets pink as well just to match and like stick out if you can see it i also ended up getting like all my towels from primark actually i got four flannels from ikea gray ones and then i got one gray hand slash hair towel and a pink one and then I got this one. It's a bath sheet from Primark. Um, I got, again, one in grey and the one in pink. I've got two big towels, two little ones, one grey, one pink, you know. 
what other colours would they be? And then from Primark, we were in the Primark in Lakeside. My Primark does not have all of this, like these big throws and the towels and stuff. So I'm so happy we went in. But I got this extra large grey throw. Oh my god, if you could feel this. I say throw, it's a blanket. Oh, it says blank throw. This was £12, which is so good. It's like this really nice, like, light grey colour. It's so soft. It's like two, over two metres by like over two metres, like 2.5 by 2.5, which is massive. I feel like I'm talking so fast. <sighs> yeah, which is huge. So this is just a snuggle in bed, you know, make it as cosy as I can. I then got two fluffy Primark pillows, both pink. They match the pillows and the fitted sheet um i am gonna get more i want like a pink greeny palm leafy one i think or like two i'm not sure we couldn't find any but i got these for now i was gonna get one but then i got two because they were three pounds just to fill up my bed because i really want my bed to be like big and cozy and i'll probably film on it and stuff as well also from primark i got like this memory foam bath thing which is so nice memory foam bath mat literally just dark grey memory foam bath mat would you believe it yeah i actually have an ensuite room the ensuite is tiny but just so that some of this makes sense i have an ensuite room we haven't unpacked this tk max bag so i'll do that quickly on camera oh i got this little mug that says the future is female and it's like pink inside and just white and pink i thought it was really cute i seen it when we were paying i then got this might seem extra to some people and it definitely is and this isn't for my wardrobe but i got two packs of like pink velvet hangers because i'm gonna get a clothes rail because mm, if you know me i love clothes have too many and the wardrobe is quite small and i'm gonna get a clothes rail to like just put my coats and like jumpers on i'm not sure what's to go on there but i just wanted some cute hangers to one bring more color to the room they're like pink but just so the rail almost looks like a shop's clothes rail like just really nicely presented all the same cute hangers other than that i'm just gonna bring the hangers i've got in my wardrobe for my actual clothes but I got these. If you don't know me and then you watch this video, you're definitely going to understand what my favourite colour is. So that's what was in that TK Maxx bag. I've got this bin from... Where did we end up getting this? The range? No. Yeah, the range. Oh, which has our receipts in it. Um, I got this clothes rail, which I've shown you. I don't know if I'll use it or not. It's... Well, not clothes rail, like drying rack. I don't know if I'll use it or not. My mum said I would and now she's a bit unsure. But I thought I'd rather have it than need it and not have it. And then from Ikea, classic storage boxes. So this is just like the one of the six smaller boxes. And then we got these two ones that are like for under the bed. And then we also got two of the, if you know Ikea, you know like the big fold up boxes just because we're scared I'm gonna need more storage and I've got shelves that are like really out the way and high. So if I do, I'm just gonna pop two boxes on there with, I don't know, shoes, jumpers or something in. Ikea glasses. So I got two gin glasses. Again, if you know me, pink gin's my drink. And then I wasn't going to get these, but we were queuing and I seen these just like normal smaller glasses. And these are the ones I had first, They're like pipe glasses, because I love to just wake up, fill pipe glasses with water and down it. But then I thought I'd get some nicer ones in case I'm ever drinking like vodka lemonade for prees or something and I don't want it in a gin glass. And also it's uni house, they'll probably all smash. So, <laughs> and then I got three plants from Ikea. So I've got this like hanging-y plant. This is actually a pink plant pot so i got one pink plant pot with the hanging plant in it and then i got like this little plant they're all fake um yeah <laughs> and then this is in a white plant pot but i think i'm gonna put this one in the pink because it has like these white things on it so i don't want it both to be white i want it to be in pink and then i just got this like little thingy one <laughs> again in a pink plant pot i just got all the same pots for them for my plates i think i said i'm just bringing plates from home because I couldn't decide what I wanted and I actually love our plates from home. My mum just recently got new ones, so I'm stealing them. And also we have plates in our house for five people and once I leave it's only going to be my mum and dad. So we don't need all of them, so I'm just going to take them and not buy new ones. Also in TK Maxx, TK Maxx have the best planners ever. And I use my phone for everything like doctor's appointments or like hair appointments, nail appointments, like just or like where I work, what time I'm working. I put it all in my phone, but like I love to write down video ideas and like when I'm gonna film and when I'm gonna edit and when I'm gonna, I don't know, what's the other thing? Like upload, I love to be able to see like the month and just see like my months of videos like there. So like say I'm filming, uploading a video Thursday, I'll know I need to like film it Monday, edit it Tuesday or something. I don't know, I just, it's really cute. I get then, this is probably the most extra thing I bought. <laughs> I got a pink frying pan, it's actually like pink. With like dots on it but it's actually it seems like a really good frying pan it's like non-stick and it's one of the ones where it's because it's like slidey and non-stick it's like minimal fat it's like virtually fat free cooking because you don't need any oil or anything and then i just got a black wok if i got anything extra like this like the pink one like i have 
pink oven trays. I know it seems extra and really silly, but one, I love pink, and two, they're the same price as the black ones. So I was just like, mm, YOLO. I know it's probably not very practical and they'll probably get dirtier quicker, but they were the same price. So I just thought, oh, go on, just do it. <laughs> I then just have like two plastic bowls. I just wanted a big one for mixing because I'm definitely going to make banana bread while I'm there. And then my mum seemed to think I need a little one. We now probably think I don't, but I'm going to bring it anyway because I might. Also, a really random purchase from Primark. We got this little like marble ish pink soap dish it was like three pound i think it's really cute and then as i said we got these really extra oven trays they're rose gold but again as i said i know this seems like stupid which probably is because they'll just get dirty but i love rose gold and i guess like i'll know if like what's mine not that i care if other people use my stuff use it all you want but in case people like don't want me to use theirs or like they would like to know what's theirs i thought may as well and then we'll know whose is whose i don't care who uses mine i thought i'm justifying them Pink was the same price as Brack, so I got pink. <laughs> I then got these like heat pads from, I was about to say TK Maxx, Ikea, you know, just so if you're taking a pan off, just so you don't burn the side. Pink serviettes. <laughs> My mum picked up white serviettes, was just like, you may as well just have them in the cupboard just in case you need them. And then I will pass the pink ones. I was like, don't tell mum you want pink, it's extra. Obviously they are the same price, they're just napkins, serviettes. But I was like, it's just extra. And then my mum walked past them and swapped them and I seen them in there and she was like, I know you too well. I was like, I love you. Oh my god, I thought this was a MacBook then. I was like, whoa, who got me a MacBook? It's a chopping board. <laughs> it's just from Ikea. I'm pretty sure it was literally like a pound. I'm just literally a plain white plastic chopping board. Fun things. A toilet scrub thingy my buds. Thingy my bub? From TK Maxx. No, Ikea. Siv. I then got both my pots in Ikea. I was only going to get one, but I couldn't pick if I wanted a big or a small one. And I know this is extra. And I'm really scared if everyone brings four that we're going to have like 24 pots and pans. But I basically got a big one because I love soup and a small one because pasta. Oh, I'm out of breath, but we're nearly at the end. These, these are so good. Um, these are like little clippy things for like, say you open a bag of crisps or like something like granola. And then you can use these to seal the bag back together so it doesn't go off and like weird. And then fun things, extension cord. This is the best one. It has USBs in it as well. Shower wrap holder thing. So like in your shower to put like shampoo and stuff in. It's done by like suction, suction uh suction cups and then just a load of cutlery and now let's just like quickly go through my camera batteries flashing like kitchen utensils garlic press because i put way too much garlic that was very helpful my camera died but um yes potato masher in case i ever decide to make a mashed potato oh my mum did get scissors scissors because you need to cut things a ladle because my mum thinks I'll need it. A big spoon because my mum thinks I'll need it. A three pack of knives because I need this for sure to cut, you know, food, vegetables. <laughs> I sound like such a dumb idiot right now. Pizza cutter because I need to stop saying because to cut pizza. I say because because I don't know what I'm using these things for. Tongs, a spatula, but like a hard one. This is the best. We have this in our house and I was going to steal it, but turns out we got it from Ikea, so I got another one. And then a good peeler for peeling like a ch the cheap tin opener because i don't open tins but we thought get it in case i ever need to open a tin and then a bottle opener again don't open bottles because i don't drink beer but then i'll be everybody's friend because i'll be that gal with a bottle opener and then oh i think <laughs> that's everything i bought i'm not completely finished i still need like a clothing actual rail i need a washing basket i want some more pillows for my bed but i think that's it after that but i am going to end this video here I'm going to film a packing video of me actually not really packing this in the car, just deciding like what I want to take from my room, what clothes I want to bring and stuff. Just like a kind of a vlog emptying out my room because I can't wait to look back on all of this. And then I'm going to film an actual moving one and I've got a uni transformation coming up as well. But as I said, that is the end of today's video. I hope you got to the end. If you did, give it a thumbs up and comment down below that you got to the end because that's impressive and this is the bit you probably wanted, the haul. So if you skipped the haul, also fair enough tell me that i'm now very scared because i have everything i need for uni and it's becoming a little bit more real i move in two weeks but i'm so 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 excited you have no idea if you liked today's video make sure you give it a thumbs up also subscribe follow me on instagram at megan short xx comment tell your friends about me and i'll see you in the next video bye have a great day